Hi, it's Inspector Mark. Uh, I'm in the basement of a 2005 uh, two-story home in Brittanelle, and I just wanted to take a moment to show you the sewer backflow valve. Uh, these valves are one-way valves that uh, will close if sewage uh, returns towards the house, if the system is backing up for whatever reason, and they should in theory protect the house from a sewer backup occurring in the home. And um, a lot of people are not aware that these valves actually cease working unless you keep them clean and that's why I want to show you this today because uh, this was a good example. Uh, this valve here is in the floor of the home and uh, it uh, has an access panel which I've removed. There's two, two bolts. Uh, the bolts are at each end of the access panel door and they just simply drop into a couple of nuts located at the ends of the cover here. So I've removed that, I've docked the concrete out and uh, opened the valve. Inside the valve here you can see there's a yellow flap um, sitting in the bottom of the sewer. And uh, that yellow flap has to lift 90 degrees up vertically to close the valve itself so that sewage can't enter the home. The only thing that lifts it are those two black floats. There's a little float there um, on each side. And if those floats don't have enough lifting force, then the valve will not work for you. So to check it, all I do is I insert my little metal rod here with a hook on the end, and I can hook it underneath the lip here, and then I can pull upwards to see how much pressure that takes to release that valve. And I can tell you right now, I'm pulling probably with about three, four ounces of pressure, and the valve is stuck. So there's no way that those floats will be able to lift that flap to close the valve in the vent of a sewer backup. I'm going to continue pulling harder and harder, so now I'm pulling, oh there we go, probably about six, seven ounces of pressure. You can see underneath the valve there's a lot of grime and sewage and stuff that stuck that valve down. So this valve would not have closed, would not have protected the home in the vent of a sewer backup. So that's why I tell homeowners, um, when you have these valves, you should, um, once a year, uh, turn, on the, turn on the taps with hot water, get some soap in there, get some on some rubber gloves and a scrub brush with a long handle and go in there and just completely uh, clean out the, the flap and all around it, underneath it, make sure it's completely clear and clean and very, very free and loose. Otherwise, you don't really have sewer backup protection. And uh, in the city at the rate it's growing right now with the new subdivisions constantly being added, you never know when uh, something may get overloaded, the system may not work the way it's designed, or there may be unforeseen problems, and you could have a sewer backup. And uh, that's really an un unpleasant experience that you don't want to experience. So that's the skivvy on sewer backups and why you need to clean them. Thanks very much.